down a walkthrough of our first earth bag building. So I'm gonna show you my room. Follow me. We have an earthen floor down here. It is a softer like material, if you will. So there is some indents um, on it, but it's held up. It's held up really well. I'm kind of rough on the floor. I painted the walls a couple of times, but only because I wanted to change the color. Over here, my armoire, it didn't fit. We are going to cut just the tippy top of this armoire off. That way it'll fit in my room. So we ended up cutting the top off of it and shoving it back on so it would fit back in that corner. We're going in and insulating it with uh, pallets because we did this in Garen's room when we like how well it keeps in the heat and the cool. This will be an added measure of insulation, an upgrade if you will. My stove is probably my favorite part of this room at the moment because it gets so cold here. This stove keeps my room really, really warm. This is a homemade desk that Dad and Garen made out of a granite slab and some horseshoes. I really love my workstation layout because I'm a freelance artist. I'm able to draw on one side and then kind of monitor everything else on my other screen. This room cost a little under 3000 to build mainly because we had a lot of used materials that we used and traded for. I think we even traded a goat for some. The building is about four years old. To be in like a round environment definitely improves the creativity of more of a organic feel. It makes finding furniture a lot more fun to do. Like you can tell like this desk here is a little roundy. My chair over here is roundy. It's kind of like trying to put something like a puzzle together or something. Usually when you have it like a sound room or something, you have to put a lot of foam on the walls. You keep the sound from echoing in a room. But in these rooms, your sound is like right here. So if we want to record music or any sound kind of things, these buildings are phenomenal for having wonderful sound quality. All right, so let's go outside. Painted, this is still on the first painting. I think it's held up, held up real well. What we did when we painted it was we had two different styles of paints. And we ended up going over like, because I mean, it's kind of a fun shape. It's not straight or anything. So we took all the places that were kind of round and, and we accented them with another color, which was fun to do. One of the things I love about having a metal roof is the rain. And I know it can be a little trying when you're trying to record something, but the sound of rain hitting a tin roof is like the most soothing thing. Well, I hope that you enjoyed the tour of my room. If there's a place on our property that you would like to see more of, please let us know and we might do a little tour of that. Hey, you never know. Anyway, I'll catch you next week. Please subscribe. For more information, you can click the website link below. Thanks for watching. Hello, Bree. What are you doing? Cobwebs off of my roof. With a broom. With a broom. Because her roof is so high. <laughs> Almost not.